Hi everybody, this is Brent from Production Expert and in this third video we're going to be taking another look at the show page. So if you haven't seen the first two videos, I would recommend that you go back and check them out. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the controls panel up here to predefine what your actual performance is going to be doing when you get to the venue, as we can see on the left here. Now one thing to point out as well before we proceed with the control panel is just want to show you that when you're adding songs into your set list on the side here and you have all of your players set up you might want to leave a little bit of time as well and this is just down here like it is um, in the song view and you can just select a pause length and I've just put 20 seconds in here and it means that you've just got a little bit of time to maybe have a turnaround of instruments or patches or just have a little bit of a banter with the audience basically so there's something to bear in mind because you don't want to go straight into a song before you're ready for it so now that's out of the way let's take a look at the controls panels so essentially what the controls panels does is it allows you to define certain scripting to knobs faders and buttons now these will map to a midi controller you can use a third party controller as i have here but also this will probably work best in conjunction with the personas atom and the personas fader port so on this view here we just have knobs and on this view we have faders and on here we have buttons but I'm going to be looking at this multi view here because it has a little bit of everything and I think this is a good scenario if you were maybe using the atom and the fader port so it's a really simple workflow what you want to do is you want to select say the knob or the fader and define what you want to put on each script so you might want to have a certain control for knobs a certain control for faders and a certain control for buttons so if I come down to fader I'm going to go over to console and I'm going to select the different instruments that I want to control. So probably the thing I want to have a lot of control over, first of all, is the track. So if I come down to here and it says inserts, this is the volume of the track. There's also an actual insert on there. I've got a mix tool just to bring down some of the actual overall gain. So you could also control that if you wanted. But I'm just going to control the actual fader. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit add targets. And that's now defined that script to that fader. And um, what I can do is I can also color code this. So let's say all of our faders are red. And that's a good way of keeping control of your system so that you don't have to be worrying about what colors what when it comes to the performance time. Now we can do this for all of the other instruments as well. So if I come down here and I've got track there, but now I select drum kit, I'll assign that to there, add target. Again, I could make this red or I could make it a different color. It really does not matter. It's completely up to you. And fader three here, um, as you can see there, it's actually swapped that um, message over there. So if we just come off here, if you want to remove a target, it's really simple. You just click remove target. There you go. So if we go back here, add that target, move on to my next target. And I can have different control over different aspects of impact kits, by the way, which is really nice. Roads, I'm going to select the volume for that. Red. And then we'll just do one more and let's say that we'll go for the guitar volume and obviously if this was a real show i would continue doing lead vocals synths etc but i think you get the idea now if we move up to knobs i would treat these slightly differently and i would probably use these for controlling effects of uh, plugin parameters so that you can maybe add a little bit more interest to your performance so if we come down to uh, instruments and i go to my addictive keys as you can see i've got lots of different things i can control here the effects one and two i could have a look at what that is controlling and i know that's controlling reverb so that could be quite fun uh, but if i come down to my guitar channel here and i have a look at analog delay i've got all of these parameters that i can map to knobs so for example i might want to control the feedback because that's always quite fun feedback level or even the feedback width let's just add feedback level and i'll give this a slightly different color and I'll do this for one more instrument just so you get the idea. Uh, lead vocals, that would be really cool, as if you could control the... Uh, so here's Valhalla Vintage. This is a third-party plugin, but look, we can still control um, a lot of the parameters. So Decay, I'm going to assign that to knob 2. And now you can start to see how we can actually make our performance more interesting again. And you can see the colors corresponding to the encoder here. So blue red for these ones and then finally at the bottom here buttons so this probably worked really well if you had something like a personas atom or any sort of midi controller with pads on it 
Um, and then again, with this, it's just, you know, it's completely up to what you want to do. You can assign whatever you want. Just for sake of this, I'll go to drum kit um, and I'll assign, let's say I'll assign an impact uh, monitor control to this target and I'll call that green. Or I could do exactly the same with these. If you want to have volume on there, it's completely up to you. So you could do the same if you just had a controller that had knobs and encoders, or you just had a fader controller, or you just had a button controller. It's a really, really simple workflow, and it doesn't take much to get used to. Now, in the next video, we'll look at, finally, how we can actually take this to the performance stage and forget about all of this that we're going to set beforehand and focus on performing. So I hope this has been of use, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.